What's up you guys? How are we? What is going on and welcome back to another video. I think the title says it all for this one. I just had one of the best fucking days of my life. No kidding. And I'm going to try and sum it up for you before I prepare my dinner up here um, at my car park <laughs> up on Coronet Peak which is officially my favorite spot that I've been to so far so look I'm gonna I'm gonna open this I'm gonna have a wee seat and talk to you all okay so I'm sitting here by myself There's no birds, no cicadas, nothing, no noise. That's why I absolutely have fell in love with it. And this is what I get to see every day. So, you know, as I was driving up here today, something hit me and it's, it's, it's why being up here on my own and looking out over basically what looks like a kingdom has affected me so much, especially this morning. It snowed last night. If you've seen my previous video, I woke up this morning with my van completely covered in snow. I couldn't see a thing. It was a whiteout. I got outside. This whole area, this whole area, the whole entire landscape was white. It was absolutely incredible. Epic. I mean, I've seen snow before, but I haven't, certainly haven't woken up in my van alone because Tim's gone now. Um, you know in the snow like it was just it was absolutely incredible it was almost like God was was telling me something it was like it was like he was welcoming me to the real world you know what life's about the small things experiences memories so we started with that but what I was gonna say before is what I thought about when I was coming up the hill before is the movie Aladdin okay Aladdin came out when I was like five I watched it with my sister probably about 300 to 400 times I know every single word in the original Aladdin movie we're not talking about the new one with Will Smith we're talking about the old one with Robin Williams rest in peace okay we're talking about the classic and Aladdin is homeless He's fighting, you know, tooth and nail to succeed in this world. He needs, all he needs is a little bit of luck. You know what I'm saying? And every night after he heads off out into the kingdom. So what he does, he goes down there into the township every single day, plies his trade, tries to make a quick buck with his, his sidekick, Abu, the monkey. And at the end of each night, they both come up to his little area that he's found. Um, what we'd call in today's age a freedom camping area believe it or not he finds his little area he goes up there every single night reflects you know and for, for nothing for free he has a view very similar to this looking out over the entire city and obviously with the the kingdom in the background and the castle and so he sits up here every night draws back his curtain sits there with a boo and imagines daydreams maybe one day Maybe one day my luck will change. And I think I'm feeling those, those very similar things, you know. I, I feel like when you look out to something like this, even if you've got no money in your pocket, you do feel like every, anything's possible. You do. And, and before I got up here, I felt like that. And so you can imagine how I'm feeling now. Now, why did I have such a good day? This is, this, you know what, after today, after I describe my day today, you guys are going to know exactly how I'm going to live my life for the next at least two to three weeks. So there is literally no reason for me to get this camera back out. And so I'm actually stoked to be making this video because I'm going to put it all on the line. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what's going on. And then I'm going to see you in another two to three weeks. Okay? So. In fact, you know what? Let me, let me sit down. Let me sit down for this one. Five dollars from Bunnings, by the way. Cheers, Bunnings. 
you literally could not beat that price if you tried. I honestly don't think you could. Anyways, guys, fucking hell. All right. <sighs> Can you imagine how fucking good I feel right now? Look at this shit. You know, my hands were tired, guys. You know, the I was not even meant to be here, bro. I was not meant to be here. <sighs> I was meant to be in Australia. And you know what? I wasn't even meant to be going out in my van. I said to myself maybe two to three weeks ago that I was going to try it. I made that video, can I survive seven days in a van? I thought it would only be seven days maximum. I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. Because at that point I didn't know that I was going to come with my mate Tim. And then I had my 30th birthday guys. On the 27th of November, Tim came round. The next morning I was hungover as fuck. But he badgered me, he convinced me. <laughs> I don't know how he did, but he convinced me to get in the car with him and go for a drive. Get out of the house and go for a drive around, around um, Banks Peninsula in his camper van. And we did. And uh, you know, to be honest, going around the hills, and he'll remember this, I've told him this, <laughs> fucking, I was almost gonna throw up. I was so hungover. He was fucking winding around the hills. He wanted to go up here and round there and all fucking everywhere. I don't know how he did it. In fact, I do know how he did it. Because he was in the driver's seat and I was in the passenger seat, okay? No good. Anyways, we got to our destination. We spent four or five hours there just talking, bro. Next to the water. It was a fantastic day, mint day. Some, you know, an experience I've, I've not had, to be fair. One I've dreamt about, but just not have, not had. And you know, there's a lot of people out there that dream about packing up their car, going out somewhere, literally getting your chair out next to the water with nothing but good people good vibes and a chance to collect your thoughts people think about that people say they're going to do it but they don't fucking do it because procrastination is a killer and that would have killed me if it wasn't for tim so thank you so much bro he's actually left now he's he's met his dad and he's on the the milford track which is a three to four well, sorry, it's a four-day great walk here in New Zealand. So he's off doing that. He's out of coverage. I have no idea where he is. So I'm back here in Queenstown by myself. And today was the best day of my entire life. So, you know, this last week has been amazing. I've slept next to some of the most incredible spots I've ever seen. Um, and they're probably only going to get better unless I stick around here in Queenstown, which I honestly think I am. So today... I woke up here. This whole entire thing was covered in snow. It was, oh, it was incredible. And the first thing I did was I actually called this girl that I'm seeing, right? And I got her on video call and I said, you're, gonna, you're not gonna fucking believe this. But I'm up here and I'm actually surrounded by my own winter wonderland in summer. That phone call, I'll never forget. I didn't call my mum, I didn't call my dad, I called her. And I experienced it with her, and it was because I'd, I'd literally I'm not I'd not gone outside yet, and so I, that was a great start. To be fair, after that, I made a vlog, which was successful. After that, I got five reaction videos done, sitting in this car in the middle of the snow. I think you guys have seen those already. Okay, so the day is productive already. The day is going well. I'm in my own little little basically snow hut. Okay. My portable snow hut, making reaction videos. <laughs> it's just, really? Is that possible? And it is possible because you put yourself in those situations. So after that, and sorry, during that, I got my little cooker out. I made it, <laughs> I made a coffee guys in the snow sitting up here, bro. It was just next level for coffee lovers out there. You know, when you do get a nice spot, in fact, one of the main things that I imagined, one of the main things I was looking forward to about this trip, about getting away in my van, is the coffee in the morning. Wherever it was going to be, it was going to be better than fucking at home. Okay, and it has been, and today was just the best. So it started with coffee, reaction videos, a vlog, and then the snow started melting. So I thought, you know what, it's about time I do my washing, right? Because I've got a shitload of it. So. I guess we're going to start there. I went to Snap Fitness. I did my first workout at Snap Fitness for this entire trip. You know, I 
rub shoulders with the personal trainer, I saw the, the manager, you know, you lock eyes with them, you say hello, it's a good first impression, they're gonna see you around, so you may as well say hello. Don't walk in there like a stranger, you may as well say hello. They know if you're gonna train hard, they're gonna leave you alone. Anyways guys, that's, that's, that's just the start of the day, okay? So that was good. I did 45 minutes on the treadmill. I didn't do any weights, literally just got a sweat up. It was, it was really good. Probably burnt about 500 calories, which for any of you guys out there who, you know, do get on the treadmill or do track their calories, that's a decent workout. So we started with that, had a shower, fresh as a daisy. I left the gym at about lunchtime, okay? Got a second coffee, no food yet, I run, on no food until 2, 3 p.m. easily. I'm so used to it now, it's not even funny. I like to eat a lot when I do eat, so I can push that first meal out hours and hours and hours. I mean, I do feel fatigued at certain points and I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't wanna be doing too much of a workout without eating, but as far as a run in the morning, it was fine. After that, I went to the laundromat. First time I'd been there, they have the biggest washing machines I've ever seen in my fucking life. It was so efficient. I got my card easily, I put 30 bucks on it, I started the machine, put everything in there in one load, got it out, put it in the dryer in one load, got it out. That was about an hour. Whilst I did that, I took my car to the car wash, I vacuumed it, I didn't wash the outside because it obviously snowed last night and you don't know what the weather's gonna do, but I did vacuum it. Okay, I got everything off the floor, which was fucking me off because there's food and everything on there, honestly. It was pretty dirty, so it needed a vacuum. I got my clothes washed, I got my car vacuumed, I put my clothes back in, all folded up, ready for this week. And then, the coolest thing about the whole day happened. The coolest thing. I will say that getting my washing done probably was the best vibe. It probably was the best feeling, to be fair, because I really wanted to do that, and I'm the fucking OCD freak with that kind of thing. And so this, this van, for this, for this van situation to be successful, I have to have it in somewhat of an order. So today was about getting it back in order, and so physically having my surroundings in order also helps me to mentally be in order, and so that is how I'm feeling today. Now. The final part of the day, which just happened before, it's about 8.30 at night right now. At 5.30 I went to Industrial Fitness and Fight Club, which is a boxing slash kickboxing gym with weights and cardio equipment, yoga classes, high intensity interval training classes, but predominantly around fighting. So I went down today on a Friday Lo and behold, it was a Friday, it could have been a Monday, it could have been a Sunday. It was a Friday, and uh, I walked into their Friday boxing sparring session. Now, I knew I wasn't going to get involved, I wanted to go down and watch, and this was the perfect, perfect, perfect time, the perfect opportunity for me to go down. So that is why it's, it's, it's just the biggest icing on the top of the cake for the day, because I went down there, not only did I, again, like I said at Snap Fitness, introduced myself to the head boxing coach who owns the place. I introduced myself to the receptionist. I, I got a workout in. I saw some sparring. And I had about a five to ten minute conversation with the head coach, which I desperately wanted, I desperately needed. And so I basically said to him, man, you know what, for these, for, for years I've been looking for someone to coach me. I've been looking for a, for a coach. I've been looking for a, for a gym, for a fight gym, you know. I went to Thailand earlier this year. I actually came to Christchurch in February, March. I tried to join the boxing, uh, sorry, the uh, the Wolfson Boxing Club. They were full, so I put that off. I put it off, put it off. You know, every time I go to the gym, every time I watch UFC, I want to go to the fucking gym and I want to hit the bag. I want to kick the bag, and sometimes I do, but I don't have a coach. But guess what? Now I do, and I fucking had a good chat with him, man. So that you know what, first impressions are so important. He made a good one on me. I hope I make it made a good one on him. This is serious shit. Because I tell you what, I started watching the sparring and there's some fucking guys who are going hard, you know what I mean? Obviously, whoever you're going up against, you're going to want to be going pretty equally as far as, you know, banging and clanging, or whatever they call it, whatever the terminology is, I'm sure I'll get it, but yeah, there was a few hits to the head, obviously they're wearing headgear, it's all, it all seems extremely legit and I'm sure it is. Um, but yeah, there was some definite thuds. I'll say that, 
in the head area. And you know what, the, the coach said, he's like, well, you're gonna get hit in the head anyway. So we started talking about Muay Thai as opposed to boxing. I said, like I tell everybody, um, I'm scared of the, the knees and the elbows. And he said, you know what, man, if you're gonna get hit in the head, why not making an elbow? And then I said, well, yeah, I guess, I guess so. And I suppose the way that you should see it is that if they can use elbows on you, all you need to do is dodge theirs and use your elbows on them. And he laughed and it was fucking good. And I'll tell you what, that whole fucking experience of being at that gym for that hour and a half, talking to him, seeing the sparring, getting my own workout in, and then leaving, was one of the greatest experiences of my life. It truly was. And so that is why this day, is one of the greatest days of my entire life and it, it may even be the best day. Look, now that I've got two kids, how could I say that either of their birthday, okay, either of their date of births was better than the other? I can't, so they're an equal first, right? So I guess this is an equal first with those two days. The greatest day of my life. Today was the fucking greatest day of my life. Oh, <laughs> it was so cool. I'm not gonna say greatest day, it was the coolest day. Fucking coolest day, bro. And uh, I just tried to explain it. So I'm feeling good. I just went to pack and save. I got some food for dinner. I've got coffee for the morning. I've got loads of water. I've got a charged battery. I went to McDonald's today too. Got three vlogs edited and uploaded. Started editing the reactions from this morning. Ran out of time, had to get to the, the, the boxing class. So I, I closed my laptop put it in the car and, and went but what I got out of that and this is another cheap thrill bro this is this is happiness I'm getting happiness from from anything from anything that I that I achieve you know and what I did achieve at McDonald's is getting a another fully charged laptop for tomorrow morning so here I am at the top of Coronet Peak and tomorrow morning snow rain hail or fucking shine I'm getting that laptop out again and getting into some more reactions and that's what I I'm, I'm, a, I'm a youtuber bro I'm a YouTuber, I'm sick to death of trying to deny it. I'm sick to death of feeling embarrassed about saying I'm a YouTuber. I love this shit, I love creating content. Doesn't have to be me in front of the camera, but I gotta be creating something, I'm telling you, or else I die inside. So, all the best to all of you guys out there. It is two weeks away from Christmas. I'm almost about to send my Christmas presents across to Australia to my kids. I will be spending Christmas in Christchurch, I think. But basically, like I said at the start of this video, there's no need for me to continue. There's no need for me to continue these vlogs to let you guys know exactly what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I just told you exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be going to Snap Fitness to use the shower. I'm gonna be using the laundromat to keep myself clean, keep my clothes clean. I am going to continue to stock my esky with ice every second day to keep my food cold. I'm gonna use my cooker to boil water, also to uh, you know cook anything that I do need to heat up, which I haven't yet, because I don't have dishwashing facilities, which sucks. So I'm getting away with like buying a, a, a hot roast chicken, keeping that cool for two days, using the chicken from that, or tinned tuna, which I've got no problem with eating. I've eaten, you know, I've eaten it for years. So tuna's actually been a really good source of protein. Um, I will get a protein powder in time, but not yet. And um, it's getting fucking freezing out here, guys. So uh, as far as my routine, you know, I will be working out, I will be doing cardio, but most of all, I will be training at Industrial Fitness and Fight Club, which sounds fucking epic and I cannot wait. What a year 2020 has been. What a fucking year. I'm, I'm gonna write about it. I am gonna write about it. I'm gonna write a memoir of, of my 2020. I wanted to write a memoir of my entire life. I feel like that's gonna be fucking impossible right now, but something that I can put together is a memoir of, is, is a memoir of, of 2020, and it's something I'm excited about. So guys, you know, that's just another thing for me to be creative about. Anyone who, who has, anyone who has watched this entire video, I wanna say thank you so much for your support. It means, it means a lot, man. And you know what? I'm a YouTuber now, right? Effectively, until I get my next full-time job. So your support really does mean the world. Your support is my fuel. You, you are the fuel to my fire. 
viewership on YouTube is what we do this for, okay? I don't do these videos to watch them myself. In fact, I never watch my own videos. I do it for you guys. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And uh, that's enough from me in Queenstown, signing out. Who knows? Who knows, guys? I may even, I may even stay for a while. I mean, I've, I've got two gym memberships that I can use. Like I've said, you know, do I need to say it again? No, I don't. This is the van life, my style, and I welcome you to it. Peace out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What a day, man. What a fucking day. You make your own luck in this world, man. Everything happens for a reason, but you do make your own luck. You put yourself in situations that can and do then create other situations that you want and can have. It's just everything takes planning. Everything is a process. Don't rush anything. Make every day count. Don't count the days, but make the days count. Peace out, guys.